In the dense forests that blur the lines between Baltimore and Hartford counties, near the community of Joppa, Maryland, a young man named David embarked on an evening hike through Gunpowder Falls State Park. As the sun dipped below the horizon, creating elongated shadows and painting the sky in hues of twilight, David ventured deeper into the woods, drawn by the allure of nature's transition from day to night. The tranquility of the dusk quickly gave way to the opaque curtain of nightfall, enveloping the forest in darkness. Armed with a flashlight and a sense of adventure, David pressed on, his path illuminated by the narrow beam of light that cut through the shadows. The nocturnal chorus of forest dwellers filled the air, a comforting reminder of the life teeming within the darkness. Suddenly, the harmony of natural sounds was pierced by a faint rustling from behind, disrupting the melody of the night. David paused, straining his ears against the silence that followed. With each tentative step forward, the mysterious rustling mirrored his movements, accompanied by the heavy, deliberate footsteps of something unseen. A cold shiver ran down David's spine, the realization dawning on him that he was not alone. In a moment of bravado, or perhaps desperation, David turned to face the unseen follower. Who's there? He called out, more to break the stifling silence than an expectation of a reply. Receiving no answer, David resorted to a more primal tactic, jumping up and down, stomping the ground forcefully, hoping to startle whatever forest animal, be it raccoon or fox, had taken an interest in him. The forest responded, but it was not with the retreat of a scared animal. Instead, the creature mimicked David's actions with a force that shook the ground. Its stomps resonating through the dense forest air, doubling the intensity of David's own efforts. Then, a sound unlike David had heard before or would hear again, a deep, guttural growl that seemed to come from the very earth itself, filled the night. <laughs> Panic took hold, and David ran. He ran as the creature pursued, its presence felt in every snapped branch and heavy footfall that thundered behind him. The chase led him to an unexpected haven, an open pasture field, bathed in the ethereal glow of moonlight, a stark contrast to the claustrophobic darkness of the woods. At the edge of the field, David found the discarded fence post and armed himself, his heart pounding against his chest. He stood defiant, ready to face the source of his terror. With a courage born of desperation, he screamed into the night, GO AWAY! The words tore through the silence, a challenge to the unseen giant. Then, as suddenly as it began, the pursuit stopped. The forest and field alike fell into a deep, expectant hush, the kind of silence that feels like the calm before a storm. But the storm did not come. The creature, the Joppa giant as some would later whisper, had vanished, leaving David alone under the watchful eyes of the stars. He cautiously hurried the rest of the way home, constantly looking over his shoulder and peering into the darkness, looking, listening, for any sign of the creature. David's encounter with the unknown, with the creature that defied explanation, changed him. He never stopped hiking or exploring the woods, but he never forgot the experience either. It served as a reminder of the wild, untamed mysteries that lie hidden in the dark corners of the world, occasionally brushing against the realm of human experience. The Joppa Giant, whether a guardian of the forest or a phantom born of the night, became a legend that night, a legend that David lived through. It was a story of primal fear, awe, and the undeniable reality of the unexplained that dwells just beyond the light of our understanding.